to the sky pads. Paul Oyos. Yeah, we'll just take you through and let you have another look at the onboards, equally the shot that you all saw. So we'll just see Rosberg, obviously, and Paul Verstappen. Verstappen gets quite a bad getaway, and you'll hear later on what happened, just a handful of wheel spin. But you can see both Ferraris bit in front of him. Verstappen chooses to go to the inside, and it's just kind of a all squeezing together. There's not really much blame you can put on anybody, and uh, obviously all coming off worse for wear. Let's take you on board with Kimi Raikkonen. Now, Kimi was kind of in the middle of this. Uh, Vettel just closing in, and uh, I think Kimi didn't expect Verstappen to be coming. As he gets into the corner, you can see he's not challenging Rosberg. He's squeezed in. All of a sudden, gets he, he actually makes contact with Vettel slightly first and uh, finds that Verstappen's there. Verstappen obviously gives Kimi a puncture. He loses a part of his front wing, uh, which means that the two of them have to come back to the pits later that lap. And let's just go on board with Verstappen. You can just hear... A lot of wheel spin. Dives up the inside. Now he chooses to put himself there, and it's both Ferraris there obviously battling. I think uh, they thought they had got their work done, but um, Max is obviously fairly aggressive. I don't really think you can blame anybody in this instance. I think they all just came off worse than they should have. Now, later on, this was obviously um, what we were talking about with Max. We heard his interview, a bit controversial. These two seem to be magnets with each other, really getting in each other's way. You can see Kimi on DRS up into turn five, gets the job nearly done. He's, he's quite a bit in front, Max, quite late on the brakes. We know that Red Bull's very strong. Kimi has no choice but to go over the speed bumps. He manages to stay in front but has to give it back. Now, this is the thing I really want to look at. As we just play here, you can see Max. He's missed the corner, and at this point here, He's not actually made them corner himself, and he's not left Kimi any room. He, sh he should have left them a little bit, given how far in front before the corner. Max knew he was there. We just watch him bounce back on. You can just see Kimi come into the shot, stays in front, but lets him back on after the radio call, as we heard later on. Now, another, another big thing, just to get the sky pad going. Um, just at the top of all rouge, you can see Kimi, the next lap, he's got another DRS zone. He's just going to open the wing. Now, Max leaves it very late until he moves. Kimi starting to move and then has to lift. That could have been, as Martin said, an aeroplane mode, like we saw with Weber quite a few years ago uh, on Kovalainen. But, um, you know, obviously fairly very vocal in that. I think Max maybe left it a little bit too late. And, uh, yeah, uh, Kimi, not obviously his best friend where it is. Let's just listen to what Kimi had to say on the radio in case you missed it. I'll just let it play. I have to let the Red Bull pass because he's clear. It's just... His only interest is pushing me off the circuit completely. If I wouldn't go to straight, he's just hitting me aside. Hey, come on, this is f***ing ridiculous now. He's just turning when I'm going full speed on the right. Copy, copy, ridiculous. Obviously, these two um, are going to be at war. I think they're going to find themselves coming across each other later on. But anyway, it's all entertaining for us. Now, we'll take you back to Hungary. Remember, uh, Kimi versus Max into turn two. This is where all the war started. You can see Max moving quite late again. Kimi aborted, lost his front wing. I mean, again, the Stewards didn't do anything about it. They obviously felt it was hard racing on the balance of things. Maybe today was a little bit further. Not really much you can see. Uh, we've, we've saw it all happen. And then let's just have another look. Now, this was uh, later in the race. This was uh, Perez versus Verstappen. So a similar kind of move. Max is trying to defend from the Mercedes power of Perez. Perez gets the job done into the end, into turn five. Just watch the Force India come in. Max again, not leaving him any room. Max is choosing to, you know, dive across, and he's right at the apex of turn six. Perez having to jump across the curb. He stayed in front. Obviously, the stewards were quite happy that Max had forced him off. No penalty. But let's hear what Kimi had to say. He's got an opinion as well. 